Bill Doyle Worcester telegram. Uh, Brad, was Isaiah's injury something he played through the last few games? Did he aggravate it more tonight? He, no, he's had a he's had a nagging hip injury. Um, he was he aggravated it pretty significantly on Friday um, in Washington, Game Six. Um, went through um, a bunch of different testing on Saturday and Sunday. Was able to play Monday. Um, hasn't felt great either of the two days, but today I thought he looked much different um, in the first half. And when um, when we went back to the locker room, um, you know, our training staff and doctors got with him, and um, he was pretty despondent not to be able to play. Um, I mean, that guy's a tough guy, and he plays through a lot. And um, for him to have to sit is really hard. Do you expect him to play the next game? I think he's going to be reevaluated tomorrow, and we'll see um, is what I was told, and I don't know anything further to that. Um, it sounds like that, um, you know, I don't know if Twister or, or somebody out of our PR group will um, communicate that tomorrow or early Sunday, whatever the determination is. And one other thing, just what kind of an impact did that have on your team, not having your best player at 100%? Not 44 points worth. Um, but, um, you know, I don't want to put that on any one guy. Uh, you know, I think ultimately um, they were terrific. We were poor. And, um, you know, you got to be able to pick up the slack, certainly, when, when other guys aren't available. But they were, they were, they were tremendous tonight. Um, you know, I thought we had, you know, hit a couple of shots early to kind of stem the tide of the initial run. And then um, they went on one. And, and I felt like two games in a row now, I felt like when we missed multiple opportunities in a row possession offensively, um, we really let that dictate how we played on the other end of the court, which is, um, you know, it's disappointing, but um, – they take advantage. They've taken advantage of us both nights. Brad, um, I mean, it was almost an explicit. It's hard to ask. Your, it's hard to ask a question, it really right? Is. What do you say? It yeah, really is. Yeah, I mean, so you know, do you have any? Did you have any? Uh, as this is happening, what do you what what are your thoughts while this is going on? And because uh, I mean, guys are missing shots. They're well, and it, when it's forty in this in the end of the third quarter, you just hope, hope that nobody fouls so you can get through the media timeouts because you just need to make sure that you get out as healthy as you can. And and this game counts as one loss. Thankfully, thankfully they don't do point differential when they're trying to figure out a series. Um, you know, I think ultimately. Um, we have to hone in on the things that we can do to perform better. I thought we did that. Um, I thought we were going to play better than that, and we didn't. And it was disappointing. It was disappointing for all of us. Um, but as I told the guys, that's a that's a loss, and we have to move our focus towards Sunday. And um, you know, we have to play with. Um, you know, we're going to have to play a lot better. Brad, Gary Walter, Boston mm -hmm. Globe. Uh, mentally, how damaging was that? It seemed like Cleveland took your heart, took your will, took your spirit, and kind of enjoyed doing it. No, I don't think there's any question. Um, and I think that, like I said, I, I thought us us having those empty offensive possessions where maybe um, you miss an open shot and they go down and convert, or or you have a you have an opportunity and you turn it over and they go down and convert. Th those things were bigger than just the three points they were scoring. I felt like they had a negative impact on kind of our, our look. And, um, you know, again, credit them. You know, the, one of the things that I really leave with tonight was at the start of the fourth quarter, they had a bunch of guys that had been in the league for a long time that were playing their butts off. And, you know, Kyle Korver, Channing Frye, Richard Jefferson, those guys were playing the right way up 45 freaking points and tremendous examples for us to learn from. Um, you play the right way all the time. We didn't 
we didn't we didn't do enough good things to even make it to even keep it close. I just literally just walked out of my office and Gino Oriema was in there and um, he wasn't very good at um, understanding what I was going through. Um, but uh, but nonetheless, um, I picked his brain for as long as I could before I came down here. Is Yen Junbao from uh, Tencent in China? Mm -hmm. You guys are 41 points behind uh, after the first half. So, what did you tell your players in the halftime? Yeah, I, I think anytime, you know, no coach wants to be in that situation, obviously. Um, and, uh, you know, we said we're going to go out, we're going to try to play the next right or the next play the right way and go from there. Um, I don't know what else you say in that moment. You know the guys are, you know the guys are really down. Um, you know there's one thing to be down 18 or 20, um, but when you're down 41, that's quite a hill to climb. And so it was trying to just focus on the next possession, the next task at hand. Coach, uh, have you been able to run your stuff, your offensive execution, or they've been physically taking you out of? Yeah, I mean, I thought I thought the other day, I thought Wednesday, we were pretty darn good um, in getting shots we wanted to get. Um, not as much today. I thought we were um, we were we were slow to 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 react to some plays, and um, and then you know we have to do a great job converting, and we have to take a take out take advantage or take our opportunities that are given and. Um, you know, make them pay when we do have an angle at the rim or we do have an open shot or whatever the case may be. But there's no question we weren't as crisp tonight. There's no, I mean, no doubt about that. Got Adam Himmelsdorf from Newcastle. Um, where, where do you guys go from here? How do you? Cleveland. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> how, how do you kind of get guys to try to regroup and not be deflated? And uh, I mean, uh, and you know what? Make this as serious as possible. Yeah, you you go and you compete on Sunday. I mean, that's that's that. What else do you do? Um, and you know, that's that's what I said when I went in the locker room after the game. Each game's worth one. Um, we played probably better than the score indicated in the last one, um, but not good. And we obviously played, you know, one of our worst games you could play today. Um, coupled with how good they are and how well they've played, that's going to be a bad deal. We have to play a lot better. So we're going to focus on us. We're going to try to figure out ways to play better. And um, we're going to go after it on Sunday. I mean, we're, we're getting on that plane um, to play well. Thanks.